I'm just really, really excited. Are we excited, Liberace? Yeah! I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Hello, everybody, and happy Monday, March 18th. Hey, do you know that tomorrow is the first day of spring? Well, I mean, you're watching this on Tuesday, so t happy first day of spring! Happy first day of spring, Maybell. That's right. It's going to be good weather. Actually, it's it's pretty cold here in Indiana today. I know. So, I'm back to vlogging again. I know that my content has been a little different. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. And thank you guys all for the kind comments. I mean, there has been some that has been, you know, a little, I don't like these videos, but that's okay. Um, it, it, you can't please everybody. So today is, I got to edit a video when I get to the shop this morning. Um, and then yesterday was the Blitz and it was fabulous. Thank you guys so much for coming to the Blitz and supporting the sellers on there. It honestly, it means the world. It is just, I know, Mabel's really excited about it too. It really means the world to them, to us. So I really do appreciate it. So, and keep it coming. There are, all of these sellers are able to go live and have sales whenever they want. So make sure that you are a member of VAMP. You have your notifications turned on. Or if you're like me, because I, I have my notifications turned off on everything because it just makes me crazy. I just check it a lot. So um, you'll always see when a seller is live just by hopping on there and seeing if someone is selling live so it's just a lot of fun and we're very very proud of vamp and we're very very proud of our vamp sellers okay so today i'm gonna edit video a video maybe two videos and i have to get things all squared away for my sale on tuesday i had everything i would taken pictures and had everything ready for my sale on tuesday but i've switched out a few things so i'm gonna update i'm gonna update that and get that posted but let's go ahead and get busy and let's get to the shop. All right, I'm here at the shop and I'm getting ready to go over to the post office. I got to take those from the sales yesterday, but I did have a little sale on Virtual Antique Marketplace, this cute little deer planter. So we're going to get this shipped, go to the post office. I've got a meeting and then I'm going to show you and talk about a few things that are going to be upcoming and then we'll do our, uh, we'll do our, our, our uh, affirmation. So let's get this shipped. So I, ooh, let's raise you up. Goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. Now we can see each other. Okay, so I thought it's been a while since I've done like a little ship with me. So we're just gonna have, we have this one thing. We're just gonna get that shipped and I'll just kind of explain to you again what I do when I do shipping. I got paper. I usually wrap the little items in paper at first to, just to protect it a little bit. This one has, now we gotta move you down. There we go. This one has a lot of like little nooks and crannies. So I do get all the paper. I get all of my shipping supplies actually on Amazon and everything is linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you are in need of some shipping supplies, then I got some links for you. Boy, I'm a little off my game. Me, me being off in uh, Chicago is really taking me uh, throw me for a loop. Then I use my American Bubble Boy, which I guess my bubble wrap I don't get on Amazon. I get it from American Bubble Boy. I also have a link in my description for American Bubble Boy. It's delivered right to your home. That's where I get my tape too. My tape and my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. So I just make a little packet like so. And I, hi, I'm really close right now. Hang on, I just don't wanna to touch my camera again because we've touched it 15 times. I wrap it. I like to make my packages appealing and pretty. You do not have to do that. It does cost a little bit to do this, but it's just something that I enjoy doing, so it makes shipping much bearable, I guess, for me. And I honestly like the fact that when my customers get an item that they purchase from me, you know, it's like they've got themselves a little gift. I'm gonna have to touch my camera. Good grief. It's like the first time I've ever done this kind of thing. You know, it's just, 
<laughs> we're just we're just going with the flow here. All right, so then, you know, here's my little bundle. Oh, I'm gonna add one of the affirmation cards that we do, which we will get to the affirmations today. I like to typically do them first thing, but we're off our game today. Card, it doesn't have to be. I do get my cards, I will say, and I don't have a link or anything, but gotprint.com. Gotprint.com is where I get, my, I think I've got like 2,000 cards, which you don't have to get that many, but you can get a lot of cards. And I think I paid like $35 for like 2,000 cards. So they're nice, they're double-sided. Get all your information on there. Stick that in there. And then I've got some stickers. I like to include little stickers. Ooh, we've got, ooh, let's do, let's do these two. We got a little, little key cats and be kind to yourself. Just stick those in there. So now that is all ready to go. My go-to sizes of boxes that I use the majority of the time is eight by six by four, which is what I'm using right now. Seven by seven by six. You can get seven by seven by six from USPS if you're shipping priority. You can see I have them right there. You can get them from for free from the post office, but I do like to keep some brown seven by seven by sixes as well because you know it's cheaper to ship things ground to some customers, and I like to get them the cheapest shipping possible. Put some oh, and twelve by eight, twelve by twelve by eight, and ten by six by four. I'll put all that in on the screen. The boxes that I, the sizes that I use quite often. Put our paper in there, our little package in there, another piece of paper on top. Boop, boop, boop. Tape it up. And then we weigh it. 10.9, so we'll round that up to 11. I'll write that on there, and I know what size this is, but if I was using like a weirdly shaped box that I don't normally use, then I would write the shape or the size, the dimensions of the box on it as well. That way when I'm going over to print off the label, I don't forget, because I will forget from here to there. I'll forget how much it weighed and what the dimensions of the box were. So I write that down in, in pencil. And that way, too, the customer can erase the pencil and then they can reuse the box for whatever they're going to use it for. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you want to make sure that the item doesn't jiggle around and it's protected. And, um, you know, you want your item to get to your customer unscathed so they can enjoy their item and you can, you know, keep your money and not have to get a refund. So we're gonna take this over to the post office as well. I am meeting, I do have a meeting at one. So we're gonna run over to the post office. It's like 12.30 right now. And then get back in time for our meeting. If we've got a little time before the meeting, we'll do our affirmations before the meet. I don't know, we're gonna see. But I wanted to show you, uh, Mark and I worked on, a, well, well, we both worked on a few things yesterday and I'll just gonna, gonna kinda give you an update on what's going on here at the shop because it seems like it's been a while since we've given you any kind of update on what's going on. Not a lot, honestly, but I'll I'll give you a little bit of an update on our plans of what we got going for the pop-up because I haven't talked about that in a while, but I'm having a pop-up. I'm opening up the shop and there's going to be other vendors that are going to be here on June 29th. That's going to be the first one that we do. So, um, if you're wanting more information, you just got to send me an email and I can give you some more information on that. But I'm really excited. I'm probably going to take that week before the pop-up off just to kind of fine tune things and get everything really squared away and prepared. Um, but I have decided that on Tuesdays, now I don't know that I'm going to do this every week, but I probably will for, at least for a little while because I got a wedding to pay for. <sighs> So um, Tuesdays, I'm going to do a, an after the sale sale, a little quickie sale over on VAMP. So after my sales with Michael on Tuesdays, I will go over to virtualantiquemarketplace.com and have a very quick speed sale, a quickie sale, 15 second lots, be, bada bing, bada boom. It, it, they're a lot of fun, very high energy because that's just kind of how I 
typically am, and um, we'll offer some really good curated vintage over on Vamp. So I hope that you'll join me for the after the sale, quickie sale over on Vamp. First one, well, you're watching this on Tuesday, but it's going to be at five o'clock, so you're watching this at four. So if you're watching this before five o'clock Eastern, you can come on over to Vamp, but I'm going to do it every Tuesday after my Tuesday sales with Michael. All right, let's get this printed off, go to the post office, and then we'll be right back. Okay, before we do the affirmations and the friend mail and everything, I forgot I was going to give you a little bit of a shop shop update, which isn't really much of anything because we've really not done a whole heck of a lot. Although dad is getting a little impatient. I keep telling him, don't set anything out here yet. Also, I got dead flowers there. I need to throw those away. Those are from uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Dad has started to put some things out in his area, um, but we I need I got I wanted to get him some more tables and shelves. So, but he's getting very impatient. Started setting up. Look, he's got naked, naked boy doll there, <laughs> naked man, and all of his trucks. And we're gonna move the lamp. But he's got some, you know, he just got some pieces out. But I want to I make it a little bit better for him, so where he can have some more space and some more tables and that sort of thing. Um, but I just I just haven't had the time to do that yet. So the, we, the, everything else is pretty much blank and empty. Nothing has changed at all since I last showed it to you. Um, there is the shelf. I did buy that shelf when I went to Illinois. Uh, I love it. It's just a small shelf, but I just like the red. I like that it's worn. I think it'll look cute with well, I, I am always thinking it'll look cute with Christmas things on it, but so that's in my area over there. And then, um, I, well, one thing that we're going to do, because, you know, here is the counter, and this is just a mess back here, but here's the counter, obviously. We're going to block this part off. These will not be there. And we are, we've been pricing different curtains, fabrics. I think we're going to use a drop cloth, actually. We're going to hang a cable, like a, a heavy-duty cable. We're just going to be anchored into the wall, and it's going to go from there to here. And then we're going to use get some grommets to make a curtain out of a drop cloth, basically, so we can block all this off. So it'll just be a big curtain so nobody can see the mess that's back there. Obviously, all this is going to be cleaned up, but this is just going to be kind of off limits but I can't really put a curtain that's gonna be the best place to put a curtain up, up but then up here is where all the action will take place so we're working on that I actually have a couple tables that I'm going to be bringing from home uh, we do have a dresser that I got for our spare room that we need to be putting together but I have a desk in there that's going to be coming here uh, those from Valentine's Day flowers will need to be those really need to be thrown away, Misty. And so I, it's going to be exciting. Like I said, taking off the whole week prior, I'm not going to have any sales. I'm just going to be focusing on making sure I have all my ducks in a row. We've ordered a new point of sale and we're going to be getting that all ready. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I hope that you're able to come. If you're not, there's going to be two more opportunities to come with different sellers that are going to be setting up as well. So it, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am. So I just going to be here before we know it. It really, really is. And then we are going to do another one in September and then another one in December. So there's going to be more opportunities to come. But the first one, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm just really, really excited. Are we excited, Liberace? Yeah. We're excited. Okay, let's go over and that was a little bit of a shop update, but let's go do our some friend mail and our affirmations, of course. Look at us all back in our comfy little spot. We're not in a hotel room. We're in front of our little heart. So I wanted to share a couple things with you before we got to the, I mean, we're doing the affirmations at the end of the video today. I'm sorry, but that's just the way that it's gonna be. But I wanted to share a few things with you first. First of all, one of my favorite content creators that has nothing to do with reselling is Jacob the Carpetbagger. There he is. He loves Bucky too. 
but um, I don't know. I'll, I'll link his channel down below. He's just kind of fun and quirky. And, you know, he's just a great guy. But he sells pins in his Etsy shop. And I got a couple of them. I'm going to put them on my jean jacket. Look at that. There is his classic carpet bagger. Little pin there. And then the classic. That's his face. See, that's him right there carpet bagger with all of his pins. So check out his channel. He's a lot of fun. Um, he's just a really nice guy and he goes to a lot of fun and quirky places. So go check out his channel if you're wanting to, you know, watch something a little bit different. I also went to the post office and I got a lot of friend mail. I might open up, I might open up one, maybe two. And then tomorrow I'm going to open up the rest. I think, hopefully, I don't know. I got a busy day tomorrow because I've also decided just this morning that I'm going to start doing a quickie sale over on Vamp Tuesdays right after my sales with Michael. I'm going to, we'll have our sale with Michael and I'm going to run over there in my little spot and we'll have a quickie sale on Vamp. So that's going to be five o'clock on Tuesdays. So Eastern. So if you're able to come, then come. I'm going to do 15 second lots. It's going to be quick and easy and some really good vintage and items over there. So if you're able to come, well, I guess if you're watching this and it's not five o'clock yet, because this video will go up at four, come on over. Um, and then I got, oh, I'm very close to 40,000 subscribers. I actually hit 40,000 subscribers, but then I, but then now I don't have 40,000 subscribers. So I need to maintain 40,000 subscribers. I'm going to give away the little kitty cat backpack. So that announcement will ho happen hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. Um, and then I just ordered my friend Anne's new book. Teddy is scared of the Easter bunny. And I did get Anne's permission. So as an Easter treat, I'm going to I'm going to read this book for you guys. She told me that I could. I love Teddy's face. Easter bunny. He's scary. But I I love reading children's books and so I I'm friends with the author and she gave me permission that I can read this book. So if you want to read along on Easter that video will go up on Easter Sunday. If you want to read along then go over to Amazon and you can get Anne's book. I will link it below. Um, she's got a whole series of these pug dog tails, and they are just adorable. So that's going to be coming soon. And I did get some new glasses. I'm going to film um, a Lensmart video for the Misty Show. I did. I do get all of my glasses from Lensmart, and I'm going to do an unboxing um, over on the Misty Show. So. Um, I, I always have a link down in, in my videos on both channels. Um, the link to Lensmart, that's where I get all of my fun glasses. Um, they're very, very affordable. Uh, and so you, if you're interested, I know I get a lot of questions, where do I get the glasses from? So the link to Lensmart is down in the description, but I'm going to be filming an unboxing of my new Lensmart glasses. I've got five for some reason, you know, I have a hard time counting to five lately, it seems. But I'm going to be doing that. So, I'm going to open up some of this friend mail. This one is from Lindy. And she lives in California. One of my favorite places. I love California. So, this is from Lindy. And I see a little kitty cat on here. I did. Now, I've been gone all week. So, if you sent me something and I'm just now getting to it, I'm sorry. But I wasn't here. We were away. Oh, how cute. Look at how pretty. And you know what? This is just foam. You know, you don't have to go out and fancy. But look, she put a little effort in. I think that if you just put a little bit of effort in your packages, it does go a lot of way. That's just my opinion. But, Lindy, I am going to I'm gonna save this ribbon and we'll reuse it. But let's open up your card first. That's lovely. Did you make that? You probably did. You, you crafty people out there. And look at the little seal. That's what Katie does. Vintage and vinyl. That's fancy. Dog owners, cats, wait. Dogs have owners. Cats have stash. No. Dogs have owners. Cats have staff. Isn't that the truth? Pick up my poop. 
feed me, pet me. Not there. I'll bite you. You know what I mean? That's how cats are. Your furry feline boss. So this is from Lindy. And she says, Misty, I was at an estate sale and I saw these items and thought I wanted to send them to you. You can sell them, keep them, whatever. Enjoy your videos, especially the ones with Mr. Fluffer Pants and Maybell. I got to get, I'll try to get Mr. Fluffer Pants when I get home. I was just talking to Anne Eckhart and I said, I'm going to make a frozen lasagna. That takes an hour to cook. An hour. So I'm going to get home a little earlier so I can get that in. But I will get Mr. Fluffer Pants on video because you haven't seen him in a while. Okay, I'm going to open up this gift from Lindy. Very, very sweet. And it just makes me so happy that, like, you're out and about and you see something. You're like, that's weird. Misty will like that. Just warms my little heart. It really does. <gasps> You know I love Liberace, right? Like, Liberace to me is like, he's like a brother. You know? He's like a best friend. A brother. But Elvis? That's a different story altogether. You know what I mean? He's a hunk of, hunk of, hunk of man. I had just finished reading Last Train to Memphis. Well... I, audiobook because I, I listened I don't I used to love to read I just don't have time to do it anymore so I listen to a lot of audiobooks while I'm working but I just I just started the second book so last train to Memphis and I'll put who the author was down here because I don't remember off the bat um it's a fantastic book and it's really detailed and it's about the first part of Elvis's life and it ended right after the passing of his mother and then I've now started listening to the next book. I'll put the title up here because I just started listening to it this morning. Um, it's the second part. So it's like the last years of his life. But I loved Elvis. I do love Elvis. And you can ask my husband, you know, there for like last year, I was all about like the royal family. Now it's like I go to bed to Elvis. So this is Elvis for old time sakes. This is now available. A new album. Elvis. Raised on rock. Rock and roll. Oh, I do love this. It's a little 45. And then look at this one. Oh, you know who will like this one? I'm going to give this one to Michael, Lindy. I hope that you, that's okay with you. Michael loves Pinocchio. So I'm going to, I'm going to gift this to Michael. I hope that that's okay. But I think that Michael will love this. He's having like a little toy display um, in, in, in his new house. So I think that, Ooh, God, look at that creepy thing. Ah, is that supposed to be Jiminy Cricket? I don't know about that, but I might give this to him. So I hope that that's okay, but I love this. Thank you, Lindy. That was very, very sweet of you to send to me. And I love that you see things and you're like, Oh, Misty, I like that. So I got to keep your little card, your envelope too, because that was so lovely. All right, let's see. I got this little package here. Oh, I do have some cards too. This one is, well, I don't know who it's from. Oh, yeah, I do. It says it on the other side. This is, I cannot talk. This one is from Sue. Sue lives in, is that New Jersey, Sue? I feel like I'm Naven. Naven and reading the letter that he read in the bathtub. Blah, blah. Because it got a little smeared. Okay, well, I don't want to cut open to this because I don't want to. I know I don't want to cut into it. So, oh my gosh, look at how cute! It's so cute! It's got little bumblebees on it. I'm gonna save that ribbon and give that to Ariana because she loves bees. The Withering Cottage, who I will see soon because she's she's setting up at the pop up. She she is. Oh man. Got to get into your package, Sue. Okay. Sue Wheatley Cuthbert. Butterflies on there. To Misty. That's my name. At me. That, oh, oh, that's beautiful. It's a little monarch butterfly. That's lovely. And Sue says, happy everything. That's so sweet. Dear Misty, stay true to who you are. From one Gemini to another, for all that you do, Sue. 
I've had, I was having a little rough of a day, like a mentally rough day. You know, I am an optimist. I'm a happy person in general, but I have days that I'm feeling a little down and out. And this, I was just kind of feeling that day. I don't know if it's because it was started to snow a little bit today. And I don't have, I can't wear my sandals. I had to wear tennis shoes today. Oh, Little Words Project. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, it's so funny, Sue, because look. Look, I wore this little bracelet today. And it kind of, it kind of looks like that. Oh, I love this. I love stuff like this. I got it on upside down. Let me fix it. Hang on. I love stuff like this. Look. Be you and the little smiley faces. I love, I love, love this. This is right up my alley, Sue. This is right up my alley. Thank you so very much. I will wear this often. I love that it's all rainbowy and colorful. That is so beautiful. Thank you so very much. I love it. I love it. You see, you just made my day happy. The Little Words Project, the original word bracelet. Wear your word to lift you up, then pass it on. There's the little QR code if you wanted more information on that. But Sue, honestly, thank you so very much. I don't want to get like emotional because I feel like that's, I've been a little emotional in some videos lately. But that just touched me really. So... Honestly, thank you so very much. I absolutely love that. I, I love it. All right, I'm going to open up the cards. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five boxes for tomorrow. That's, that's a lot. You guys have been busy. All right, this card is from Marsha. And she lives in Ohio. Ohio. That's my neighbor. You're my neighbor, Marsha. Did you know that? You probably did. Because you sent me this to Indiana. And you know that Indiana and Ohio are neighbors. Oh my gosh. Look at you guys and your craftiness. It's so pretty. Oh, oh, it's so sweet. Misty, I felt I needed to write a note to you to say how much I love all of your videos. I look forward to your postings, especially your various hauls and and try-ons. You are great and fast with so much endless energy. You find pleasure in so much of what you do. Keep doing what you do and don't be hard on yourself. Keep that smile. You're the best. Marsha Green. And it says, you are more than enough. You're so sweet, Marsha. I think, you know, sometimes we can let cruel words from other people and judgments from other people kind of mess with us a little bit. And sometimes you guys, well, and Mark, cause he's, you know, he's lovely and he's just like so supportive of everything that I do. But these, I'm serious when I'm having like a down day, I pull out, you know, cards that you guys have written and it really does, it really does touch me. So thank you so much. Thank you, Marsha. My neighbor from Ohio. That was that was very, very sweet of you. Thank you very, very much. David. This is a card from David. The Whack-A-Mac. I think that's what you that's what your name was in the vamp sale the other day. And it made me laugh. The Whack-A-Mac. Something like that. But David, this is a card from David. I always love getting David's cards. They're just sweet. Easter is a good time for reaching out to people we care about. David, where are you at, David? Arizona. Dang it, that's not my neighbor, David. I would love for you to be able to come to the pop-up, but that's a drive. That is a drive. Dear Misty, Mark, and family, happy Easter. Oh, wait, let me read this card again. Easter is a good time for reaching out to people we care about. A time to, to just naturally think of you. Happy Easter. Misty, thanks for always making me smile and laugh. I watch you, I think that says, I watch you on YouTube. I think that's what that says, David. I love when you and Mark go on trips too. I sure hope to meet you guys someday. If only we were neighbors, David. Arizona's a long way away. 
Did I, did I ever tell you that's where my dad was raised? He was raised in Phoenix, Arizona. How far away is that from where you are? He went to Camelback High. Happy Easter. I hope you and all the family have a great Easter. Love, David. David, I hope that you have a great Easter. I do. And I always look forward to your comments and your cards. You're so sweet. Thank you very, very much. You guys just make me feel so special. So this next one is from Cheryl. And she lives in Ohio. You're a neighbor, Sharon. Or Cheryl. Neighbor Cheryl. I'm a... Cut this one. Oh, it's a letter. I'm going to read this one to myself first. Because um, I don't know. Sometimes people are like, don't read my letter. So I just want to, I'm going to read this first. She said that she really likes the vlogs and how they're a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, and she says she's also not artistic at all and is amazed at their Sophie's art right there. At the art that people can do. I um, mean, she wanted me to give Mabel Mr. Fluffer Pants. Some ear rubs. I will do that, Cheryl. Mark's uncle is doing better. He's doing a little bit better. He's got an uphill battle, but um, she said that she's added him to his nightly prayers. Keep them coming. Um, it is, he's, you know, dealing with a lot. So we definitely appreciate the prayers and keep them coming. So but thank you so much, Cheryl. That was very, very sweet. And I will keep my eyes open, girl. I sometimes see him, but I'll keep my, and if I do, I'm going to message you first. She knows what I'm talking about. You know what? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We're at 19 minutes. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. Oh, this is from Karen Dondelinger. Dondeldingle. We always love to say your name, Karen. She told me she was sending me a package. Um, and I've been out of town, so I'm just now getting it. But let's see what Karen. And Karen lives in... This is like a California, Arizona, and Ohio day today. Okay, Karen, Karen. Isn't there a song? It's be a Karen song. I don't know. I can write one. Let me write one for you, Karen. <laughs> it, it won't make any sense. It'll be a lot of gibber, gibberish, but I'll do my best. All right, so Karen said, I just retired in January and I'm in the midst of remodeling my home, so everything is a mess. But that doesn't stop me from shopping both for myself and her business, which is Sunny's Vintage Surprises. Sunny's Vintage Surprises. One of my favorite dealers on Instagram makes the best labels. She had these two little ditties, and I thought, Misty, I hope that you enjoy them. I've been enjoying your videos on TV now, which is much better than on my phone or on my computer. I can't interact, but it's okay as long as I get to see your smiling face. I especially love the videos of you at your shop. Thank you, Karen. I currently have a booth at an antique store near my home, and that is a lot of fun, but naturally it's a hit or miss with sales. Once things get settled and I can bring my business online, I will be checking Vamp out. Please do, Karen. I'm so proud of you and Michael for bringing this wonderful venture to everyone. Smiles, Karen, Sunny, Dondelinger. I love saying your name, Karen. So what did Karen send? Hmm... I'm going to reuse all this tissue paper, Karen. Oh, my God. These are useful. Oh, look at this. Okay, so these are great. Well, first of all, she got them from Decals in Vintage. So that is where Karen purchased them from. She got an Instagram. And look at the little tape measures. But look what's on them. Cupy, I can keep this in my purse so I can measure things. I'm going to keep it up my vamp so I can measure there. They're different too. Aren't those adorable? Oh, these are going to come in handy. I'm always looking for a measuring. So I got, I like that you sent two. I'd say I, I put these in my purse, but if they go, let, let's be honest. If they go in my purse, I'll never see them again. So I'm going to keep one at my eBay or at my YouTube sales station. So I can say, I got to get Karen's measuring tape. I couldn't find the word. I'm going to keep one over at my vamp. So I always have my measuring tape. This was great. Thank you so much. This was very, very useful. Karen, thank you so much. That 
That is really, really nice. I really appreciate it that you're thinking of me. And I'm so proud of you, and you're going to be fine. So when you're ready, you just come on over. You can apply to be a seller on VAMP. And it's it's just, we're really, really proud of it. We really, really are. And thank you guys again so much for all of the support that you've, that you've shown to the sellers on VAMP. Keep it coming. And um, we're really, really proud of it. All right. I'm going to save the rest of the boxes for tomorrow, but we're going to do our affirmations. And you know what? If you don't like the affirmations, you don't, you, you can be done with the video. I should have read these affirmations this morning because my head was not in the right spot. So, well, maybe, you know, y'all made me feel so much better after reading your sweet words, but you know, we got to, we got to get our head in the right spot. So today, today is the 18th. Yeah, I remembered. So, the 18th of March. Can you believe it's almost April? It's just flown by. Okay. On receiving advice, many intentional folks. I thought I read that word wrong. Let me start again. Many well, I did read it wrong. Many well intentional folks will advise you on how you should live your life. The choices they tell you to might make the choices they tell you to make might be right for them, but it doesn't mean that they're right for you. Assume that their intention is positive. Graciously say thank you and then consciously choose to do whatever the hell you want to do. That's what it says. Do whatever the hell you want to do. And I think that that is very, very true. And there are a lot of people, and I've been guilty of it. I've been way guilty of, of soliciting advice to people on the way I think that they, but it doesn't mean that that's the way that they should run their, should, should do, run their, should do their lives, run their lives, be, live, live. Now, there have been people that have asked for advice and, and, you know, and then if you're constantly asking someone for advice, then you need to like kind of self-reflect. Why am I constantly asking everybody else for advice and seek, you know, in your own experiences and in your own world, what makes sense to you? So, but I like that they said, you know, I mean, I think that it's okay. I think that it's okay to tell people, thank you. And then just do what the hell you want to do. Do you know what I mean? All right, so let's choose our card. We're getting down to the nitty gritty with these cards. I'm look. I keep saying this, but I'm looking forward to those snarky ones. Ooh, this one's kind of a long one. I am evolving every day, and I am patient with my growth. Let's read the back. Each day brings new experiences. With each new experience, you grow inevitably. Maybe you're not where you want to be yet. But as babies learn how to walk, you also have to do it gradually. Be kind to yourself during this process. That kind of goes al along with it. Again, there could be people that are well-intended trying to help you and give you advice. But you've got, to, you've got to grow through what you go through. I think I've said that before. And... Um, you know, I learn every day too. We're always kind of evolving and learn, figuring out what works and what doesn't. And and I think it's okay. Change is good. Change can be good um, and evolving. And, um, you know, you can have a completely different life a, a year from now. So, oh, that's pretty good. I like that one. And then just for fun, I don't know why I did this, but I bought this pun book. I'm just going to randomly choose a pun. We're going to make it punny. That's what I thought when I bought this. I know you all are like, oh boy. All right. So this says, The trouble with the woman's nylons is that they're sheer today and gone tomorrow. When was this? When's the copyright on this book? I'm going to pick a different one. 1960. Okay. That's a little old fashioned -y. All right, well, I am getting, I'm just going to end the vlog. <laughs> With that, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog tomorrow. Well, you're watching this on Tuesday. I would have already had my YouTube sale, but hey, I might still be live on VAMP. I don't know. It's going to be a quick sale, so I'm going to do, it's going to be an hour, no longer than an hour. And I'm actually going to give myself a, 
a time limit. I'm thinking that I might just give myself 30 minutes. I think we're going to do 30 minutes. It's going to be a 30 minute sale. I may put on a timer and, and just be like from five to five 30. That's it. That's it. And then what doesn't, what, cause I've got a lot of things and what doesn't sell, we'll just bring them to the next Tuesday sale. So I hope that you can join me sometime Tuesdays, five o'clock on vamp, but also Tuesdays, one o'clock on YouTube with Michael. Okay. I feel like today was just a whole hullabaloo of a vlog, but I'm a little out of my routine, so to speak. So I'll, I need to get back in, back in the swing of things. But thank you guys again so much. And hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so I can give away this kitty. This is like a $90 backpack. Yeah, meow. It's a backpack of a little cat. And I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give it away. So I gotta, I'm got i going to hit my 40,000 subscribers, which doesn't mean anything to anybody. It's just a me thing. Um, you know, I think with creating content, you set goals for yourself. And then after 40, I want to hit 50. So it's just milestones. It's just little milestones. But thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my vlogs. And I really do appreciate you. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bob had a man put his hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down. Search for miles around and no one like me can be found. I've